morning student let us discuss the next topic from first chapter nature and significance of management in this video we will cover the two topics that is objective and uh, importance of management let us start with the first topic objective of management first of all define the term objective here objective refers to the end results or goals towards which the activities of a business are directed and the standards against which the performance is measured management has to achieve all its objective in an effective and efficient manner means to achieve the end results all the activities should be undertaken as per the standards provided by the management and of course uh, objective should be achieved in effective and efficient manner as i already defined this term in my previous video the term what do you mean by effective and efficient mainly uh objectives are grouped into three major categories organizational objectives social objectives personal and individual objective let us start with the first objective that is organizational objective it is a main objective of any organization should be to utilize human and material resources to the maximum possible advantage that is to fulfill the economic objective of a business means first of all the main objective of uh, management is first of all to survive in this competitive market means earning enough revenues to cover the cost means income should be more than the expenses this is the first objective this way organization can survive then come to the next objective to earn profit that is which is an incentive that is a reward to undertake risk for the continuous successful operation of the enterprises that in class 11th you already studied the role of profit in the business and now the third objectives that comes under organizational objective is to the growth that it is important for every business to grow in the long run growth of a business can be measured how uh, you can identify that management is in the third objective in the growth stage that if there is a increases in sales turnover comparative to last year increases in the number of product increases in the number of employees increases in the capital investment that shows that organization achieve its third organizational objective that is growth now come to the second objective that is social objective what is what do you mean by social objective its objective of management to involve the creation of benefits for economic values for the society this includes using environmental friendly methods of production providing basic basic amenities like schools to their employees giving employment opportunities to the disadvantaged section of the society i'm just giving you the current example as due to spread of covid 19 now tata i think you have seen in the news that 1500 crores is contributed denoted to the given as a donation to the government this is what it fulfilling the social responsibility if society is in the danger situation how organization is coming forward to help society now come to the third objective that is personal or individual means the employee this objective concerned with satisfying the various needs of the employees 
what are the various needs of the employees that is first of all is the financial needs how it will be fulfilled by giving them competitive salary and extra benefits extra perks social needs to give them peer recognition in the society by giving them status post in the organization next is higher level needs that is personal growth and development how individual uh, will develop by giving them proper training giving promotions this leads to the uh, development of personal all this but management should take care that personal should objective only be fulfilled when the organizational goals will be achieved it means management should uh, motivate the employees to give 100% in achieving organizational goals then only their personal goals will be achieved means pers- it it must reconcile personal objective with organizational objective for harmony in the organization means there should not be a conflict between personal objective and organizational objective they should contribute together means personal objective only be fulfilled if organizational objective will be achieved so this type of uh, information should be uh, given to the employees so this is all about the various objectives that once again i am just recalling you organizational objectives social objectives personal and individual ed- objectives now next topic that i am moving ahead that is importance why management is important that successful organization do not achieve their goals by chance there is a effort of management but by following the deliberate process called management a business enterprises rises to the top because of its quality of management on the other hand lack of proper management results in wastage of money time and efforts see management is there that helps to achieve organizational goals utilize the manpower in an efficient and effective manner then only any organization reach at the top let us now why management is gaining importance because of the following reasons first is management helps in achieving goal as it is one of the important characteristics also because all the activities are undertaken that is goal oriented activities means main focus of management is to achieve goals set the goals to achieve for example to earn 20% return on investment increasing sales by 10% etc management aim as at aims at achieving this goal by giving common directions to individual efforts means how we will achieve our goals now the next is management increases the efficiency how it increases the efficiency the aim of manager is to reduce cost and increase productivity by better planning organizing directing and controlling the activities of the organizations the things are to be done in a planned way in organized way proper direction will be given so this way management increases the efficiency that increases the productivity and now the third <laughs> importance management creates dynamic organization as already it is uh, uh discussed in features also all organization has to work in environment which is constantly changing and management helps to adapt to this changes so that the organization is able to maintain its competitive edge that we have already discussed 
as a feature of management also how it works in a dynamic environment how it change in the dynamic environment now come to the fourth importance it helps in achieving personal objective how personal objective will be uh, achieved a manager motivates and leads his team in such a manner that individual members are able to achieve personal goals by contributing to the overall organizational objective that i already discussed ki first priority should be given to achieve organizational goals then only personal goal will be achieved then through motivations and leadership management helps individual to develop team spirit cooperation and commitment to group success now come to the fifth importance management helps in the development of the society how it develops it helps in the development by providing good quality product of course pro- products are consumed by the consumers that belongs to the society and good quality of services creating employment opportunity adapting new technology so these all are the way the management management that is why in management is important so that we have already discussed in five heads how management is important why management is important in achieving goal increasing efficiency creates dynamic organization help in achieving personal objective management help in development of overall development of the society so this is what i discuss the various topic now it's your work to write down the notes in your bst copy along with this i have given some assignments and please do all the assignments in your bst copy this is all about today's topic thank you so much